Four weeks into 2015, Preston had the look to be the surprise of the state. The Knights were 3-1 with loads of experience among their ranks. However, the injury bug plagued PHS and it was all downhill from there. Preston lost all six of their final games, scoring an average of 14.5 points per contest. We took our lumps last year. We lost, I believe, a total of 17 kids to season engine ending injuries. Um, that's one of the reasons we started off 3-1 and one and ended 3-7. and seven. We just got beat up. It was going great, and then, you know, we got, I felt like we had people starting to point fingers. Um, you know, people wanted to make the team about them. They wanted to quit, you know. After that, I mean, we had some season ending injuries. For the first time in four years, Jonathan Tennant will stage a quarterback battle that could carry into the regular season. Preston's all-time leading passer, Scott Stone, has graduated, leaving signal calling duties up for grabs between Dakota Holt and Joseph Peanut Boyles. Me and Holt, we're kind of battling right now. Uh, it's really it's really hard to judge because we have two different skill sets. He's more of a runner, I'm more of a pocket passer. It's it's hard to judge. Might only We might stay with two quarterbacks, you never know. The luxury of a four-year starter had moved the program into a spread offense. With more experience in the backfield this fall, Tennant has elected to get back to his roots of a power running scheme. We got some backs that with experience they got last year, and we recently got a returning uh, rusher back from he transferred, but he transferred back. So we're excited about that, and uh, we're going to go with what we've done in the past, which is power football. In Kingwood, I'm Ben Eschenbaugh, Five Sports.